welcome to my new tutorial series on how to make an advanced game in Notepad. Um, this is going to be basically um, a better game than we last than we made in my previous series, and it's going to support a lot more features. It's going to have better loading screens. It's going to be, in generally, uh, much more awesome. Uh, if you're new to making games, uh, then you're going to want to check out my previous series, which is called How to Make Games in Notepad. It will be on the screen now. Um, you should probably go watch it if you are unfamiliar with Batch. Um, anyway, on to the tutorial. For this tutorial, we're going to be using Advanced Batch to EXE Converter. Um, you can get it for free, but it's honestly not very good, and we're going to be using some of the pro versions. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to get this, so I'll put that on screen now as well. So you can go and click that um, and watch it. And yeah, so after you've got that, you're going to want to open it up. Uh, I'm quickly just going to resize my window to something more sensible. There we go. And you'll be greeted with this. This here is this the editor. These are our color code. This is, these are our, this is our commands. We're going to be typing them out actually because I honestly do not like the command wizard. Um, and we've got a bunch of options here. It's generally oh you've got to zoom things well. We won't be using that. So after you've opened it, um, first thing we're going to do file save. Just so you can uh, have a backup in case anything goes wrong, and we're just going to call it advanced game dot bat, and then choose batch files and save, and you can go onto your desktop, and you can see we have our batch game which doesn't have any coding in at the moment. So onto the tutorial. Um, I'm just going to delete that line of code because I never really like code which is being put there. So first of all, to start off making a game, um, what I've noticed is some people have asked why there's loads of weird text appearing on the screen and that's because they didn't type the at echo off. Now unless you want oh, now unless you want this to appear every single time you run your program, like loads and loads of them, then you're gonna want to add this command. Um, I'm just gonna go down space and we're gonna create a new uh, section of the code and we're just gonna call it uh, startup. This tutorial is basically just going to be uh, the setting up of the game, defining um, the loading and everything. So for startup, we're going to want to set a title, which will just be uh, the name of your game. So, oh, let's think of a name for our game. Um, I like. Let's do a. We're going to do a uh, a money type game where you can um, get money and you can do and you can bet things and it's going to be quite cool. Um, I will put the uh, a link to the code so you can go and download the code if you don't like following the tutorial along. So for the title we're just going to do, um, I don't know, uh, Money Madness. Alliteration. Uh, dash loading. There we go. And now we're going to create our loading screen. Now for our loading screen, um, this program has a really so something really cool. You can actually create your own graphics, and you can paste them in. So this is so. Imagine this is our terminal window. So this here is what you're going to see on here. So we're just going to paint a. Oh, okay. Um, we're just going to paint a loading screen. So let's choose a solid color. We'll just choose a color down here. I'm going to go for green. Uh, we'll go all the way down until about there. And there we go. And just keep on going through until you have typed out. Uh, in you see, you've painted out until what you want to be on your loading screen. It's quite difficult. Um, I'm going to cut this bit out because it's very long and boring. And I will be back. Oh, I'll be back after I am done. So I have now finished painting out my uh, loading screen, so there it is. It just says, simply says loading by using this, and after you've done that you want to click copy code to clipboard, it will confirm that you've done that, uh, close it, and right click paste, and you will see all of your code has been pasted into the game. Game? been pasted into the uh, command window so you will simply see loading the loading thing which you uh, created on this screen 
and it actually inserts pause for us, which we don't want, and the uh, locate special command. So we're going to get rid of that, and we're simply just going to type rem wait. I think that's the command, and then how many milliseconds? What oh, is quite cool about this program is you can go up here, and you can see ah uh, milliseconds. So we want them to simply wait. Uh, so one f so one thousand milliseconds is one second. So if we want them to wait one second after the loading screen, I'm going to make them wait three seconds. So we'll simply do that, three thousand, and then we will clear the screen. Now we can see what that looks like. I'm actually just going to insert a pause command so it doesn't end our program immediately. Uh, hit the save button and it will confirm that you've saved it, saved it down there. Minimize the program and open. Actually, you can't um, you can't run special commands without compiling it. So I, I completely forgot about that. Sorry. Press build exe. Uh, choose a name. I'm simply going to call mine um, uh, advanced game. Press enter. You can choose all this. Just going to leave it as default. Make exe. Say so compiling. Exe saved. And you'll see the exe file. Open it up. And we'll see your loading screen. For three seconds. And then it will say press new key continue. Unfortunately it says rest because for some reason the P is missing. And then it should clear and it will go away. So that's how to make a loading screen. Um, we're actually going to have to add another special command here. Which I think is rem locate which chooses where the text is going to be so we would like ours to appear about there so what and you can look at the coordinates so it will be 24 2 so rem locate 24 2 and then echo press any key to continue to the menu screen and type pause. Um, uh, I think that's a more than sign. Is that a more than sign? Less than, I think. I'm not sure. So, which basically says, which basically means pause, go to null, which means don't show the pause command. Uh, now, if we save the batch file, build the exe, save, overwrite, make, and we go and look at it now. See the loading, and it will ne should set. It should now say. Press new key to continue to the menu screen, and press that, and it will take us to the menu. Now we're going to code in the menu, so go down to lines or however you like, and type in colon menu. I'm not going to want to change the title at this point. In fact, first of all, clear the screen of the loading um, uh, screen, and type in title, and then money madness menu. That is three M's. That is a lot of M's. You see the coordinates there are one one. So actually, we're going to want to make our own designed menu screen. So click on the graphic wizard again, and we're going to make our own loading screen. I'm simply going to color mine blue, and click there, and click there, and it will render it. And we've now got a lovely blue background. I'm actually going to make another one because that's quite nice. Go for a small one this time. And we'll make that one yellow. Choose that coordinate. Choose that coordinate. Oh, this looks quite cool actually. There we go. A lovely menu screen. Lovely border for our program. Press copy to clipboard. OK, close. Right click, paste. And there we go. That's the code for the menu border. I'm actually just going to get rid of this because we don't need that. Now that our menu has been drawn to the screen we want to add our game's title. So choose where you want to put the menu. We're going to put ours around there so that's I reckon 8.30 rem locate 8 and 30 and let's echo the title which will be money madness put an exclamation mark and then underneath it should be rem locate nine I can't spell locate nine thirty echo and then we'll do some underlining so let's put some underlines 
Now after you have done that, press the build exe command, uh, save, overwrite, meek, go back to the desktop, actually we forgot one thing, we forgot to put a pause command in, which we'll just do rem, after that we'll just do this, pause, to null so we don't see it, save, build, save, yes, make. Now when you run it, um, after the loading screen you should see a menu with the title working. If anything's broken with it, we'll just uh, tweak it a little bit. And there we go, Money Madness. That is some um, strange colouring there, I'm going to want to get rid of that. Uh, press new key to continue. Not quite sure how you change the... oh hold on. Um, to change the colour, it is, in fact, Rem, change color spot the american way um and then it would appear to be the foreground which is the text first so we, we want the text color to be white so that's 15 uh 15 and then the background which would be zero so 15 zero if you wanted it, if you were just wanted it to the text to be blue and the background to be black you would do 11 and 0 so we'll put that before we um, write the text on the screen and now when we save build go through this step it should have some more uh, readable text rather than yellow and blue there we go money madness and we've got our amazing thing and then we'll have our options you can choose here and etc 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 i think that'll do for the tutorial today next tutorial we will actually uh code in the beginning or introduction to our game and then after that we will actually start adding um more things and i may even show how to make an item drop system online capabilities etc 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 uh so thank you for watching be sure to subscribe to uh, Sharpster, Cavellio and Grano. Links to their channels will be in the description. Um, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.